Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to WGSN DB Going Solo Network. We are on the Barbershop Show, and I have just taken over your show, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Uh, welcome to the show, Cece. You know, it's been a while. Have, have I ever had you on the Barbershop? I know you've had me on your show and we share shows. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think right. I don't think I have been, but yeah, but I That's just. Really funny. Uh, just take over your show. <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Um, I love that. So I'm going to share. You can you can introduce yourself. So so you are now watching The Barbershop. This is Dr. Christopher Sloot, uh, WGSNDB Going Solo Network Radio. You're watching Going Both Wednesdays. Uh, my guest for today is CeCe Schatz. CeCe, introduce yourself to, to, my, to my people, uh, which are our people. Uh, while I share the show. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to be here. And thank you so much for having me on the show. You know, I, we're going to talk about podcasting, video cast, streaming, you know, all of these wonderful things. And uh, if those of you that don't know me, I am Cece Schatz. I'm the actual owner of the Going Solo Media, uh, dot com, and been in the business for, gosh, years. And uh, so I've been doing this for quite some time. So I'm the owner of Going Solo Network and, um, you know, have several shows of my own. And, and I love doing this. I absolutely love it. Now, Cece, how many shows do you have? Oh, I do a lot. Well, you know, we do the Going Solo with Cece show. And I alternate both, um, you know, just kind of fun stuff, um, informational type of things, you know, for singles. And then also the divorce. Of course, I'm very passionate about the divorce. And then we've switched up. We started a new show called Date the Right One. So we talk about dating issues. Of course, I'm on the wonderful show Boy and Girl Thing with you. And uh, we we love that. I'm on vacation. So you've noticed my background is is very different. So I'm on vacation. I'm in the uh, kids room in my son's uh, house. So in the basement. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, because so it's funny. So we'll, we'll talk a bit about our current situations. Um, we're, we're sitting. We're sitting here. I, we we're just joking about it. We're, we're trying to tell people, hey, you should be starting a podcast. And I'm, I'm going to talk a bit about like your background and all these. And Cece, you're in your your uh, your kids' playroom. I just moved into my house. I have none of my equipment uh, uh, with me, and it's like we're sitting here trying to tell people how to do the right thing on podcasts, and we're like not doing right <laughs> and we're totally like i like if i turn my thing around we got like the exercise room yeah, yeah, there yeah. we've got playroom over there music area over there yep. i love <laughs> yeah. it i love it so uh so cc while i'm sharing the show real quick um how did how did we meet how, so i was on your show and, and now how did that all happen Gosh, it's been so long i don't even remember how we met i mean i i don't know if i reached out to you and then I, asked yeah. you to be, be on the show maybe I think uh, you reached out to me because of my because of Bold Magazine and Fabulous Magazine, and uh, you had said we want to interview you. And I said, hey, the, the best time for me would be like a lunch hour, or maybe you were starting a new program called the Business Lunch Hour or something like that. Yeah, I do do that. I do the business. I do a lot of shows. I do the Business Lunch Hour. Yeah. Um, I also do. Then that's kind of an alternate biweekly type of show. Um, and then also I do the author's corner, which is very popular. Everybody seems the to love the author's corner. Tell me about that. Well, the author's corner, I just take an interview authors regarding their books, what they, you know, really what their passion is. Why did they decide to write this book, you know? And uh, what what is the book about? How is it going to help other people? You and, know, I didn't uh, know that. You do that, right? Yeah, no, That's I do cool. a lot of things. I'm very mysterious. <laughs> now, you know what's funny is, so uh, so news on me, we'll, we'll get into some other news, but news on me is I actually, my book was just finally sent to the printer, and you can pre-order the digital copy starting today. So Ooh. I will put that all over my social media. So we should, I should be on the, the, the book corner. The, uh, yeah, the, I'll interview you. Yeah. That would be great. That would be totally yeah, great. that would be, that would be very cool. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, yeah. so I wanted to talk, we want to talk a little bit, and I'm, I'm still sharing the show, but we want to talk yeah. a little bit about, uh, you know, just starting, starting your own podcast, what makes a pet podcast great, you know, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, of course, uh, you can't, can't see you. Oh, am I not? I'm not. No, I can see you. You're, you're up there. I don't know. You're, we're, you are a little dark around you, around oh, you. Oh, is that what he's saying? Well, yeah, unfortunately it kind of is what it is. I don't have yeah. any of my lighting. Uh, properly, like I have nothing yeah. here because. Yeah. But can, can you see me or no? 
Yeah, I can see you. I can see you. Well, and it's the same thing with me. I don't have any. Oh, you're on now. I think maybe there was a hesitation. Um, oh, okay. well, it's the same with me. I don't have any of my lighting. I don't have right. the my, mic. I don't have my mic. I don't have my camera. Well, I thank the, you, Robbie, for saying that. Camera. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, so, so uh, you know, we, we met a couple of years ago, and, and we mm-hmm. I started my barbershop show with you, and then we started doing some other shows. And now we co-own this this bold uh, bold media and bold Wednesdays, and I mm-hmm. think that's really awesome. And yeah. you know, uh, you know, I wanted to to say that that we wanted to do this show because we wanted to really uh, highlight, you know, how it's you know, if you have something to say, it's not all that hard to to start a podcast. Um, so uh, before we start the show and before we start doing all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, I want to take a, a moment of silence and, and prayer, which I always do. But if you would join me, CC, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. so we, we like to do this for anyone and every, anyone who uh, just needs it. And especially with what's going on with a lot of folks between um, Uvalde, Ukraine, uh, name, name uh, anything. And we've got a lot going on in the world. So I'm going to just take a quick moment of silence. And I welcome you to do that as well, CC. Okay. So, Cece, so when did you start your podcast? Because, and, and so that it's so that we're all on the same page, we have been podcasting uh, on Bold for quite some time. We have the Bold cast, we had, uh, we had Plus, uh, Plus Universe Roundup monthly. I, you know, we use uh, some different technologies. So, so when did you start your, your podcast and your podcast? Yeah, I was trying to think when I started. I think, I believe I started around, um, around, uh, 2015. Okay. I think I, I, think I did uh, start then. I'm, I'm trying to think because I, I believe I took over the divorce support group in 2010 and okay. I've been running that ever since. So I've been running that for for uh, like, you know, 12 years now. And so then I believe I, I took, I started doing the, and it was a fluke that I started the, uh, the, the show. So, you know, I went on a show. How was it, how was it a fluke? Well, what happened was, is I have a really a close friend, um, you know, Connie Rose, and we went to high school together. She had a show and I went on her show, which was called, it's called Victims to Survivors, which I believe she's not doing that now. She does uh, special talks around the country. Okay. And um, so I was on her show and talked about domestic violence within a relationship because I see it a lot of experienced it in my own yeah. life. And so, um, so anyhow, we, I went on and when I came out of the studio and, and this is a podcast studio, this is a, like a streaming radio, uh, internet radio studio. Yeah, yeah. When I came out, they offered to give me a, a show. I said, listen, if you'll join us uh, here, we would, we'll just give you a show. And they, you know, they charge for the shows. And so um, I thought, well, what the heck? I might as well do it, right? Yeah. I love so, that. That's what yeah. Love. And then gradually started, you know, growing within that, uh, developed our own live streaming radio station 24 seven. And so what we do is we take the podcast and we put them on that, on that station and they play. And um, then we started, you know, doing the video going out into the video cast, I guess they call it video cast or viv cast, or I don't know what they're it really but um so it's going into that and then and then now we're actually embracing um tv internet tv streaming we're on ruku as you well know we've got both the going solo tv and the going bold tv and we also have one that's called everyday life everyday life tv and those are all on uh the ruku my show is on the ruku um station too and then my show started out with uh um, going solo a life after divorce and it was uh, an award nominated show Love and that. um so i was really really pleased with that i've been asked to go like some publicity uh summits and things like that in new york and uh featured in a, a lot of different places uh a, a war i was a uh, alignables business of woman of the year um, so right. and there've been a lot of, a lot of different things, but it all came from 
podcasting, right? It all came from media, getting yourself out there, getting yourself exposed. And so I know that we're talking about podcasting, but I think the first thing we have to talk about, uh, Christopher, is why do you want to even do this? You know, why do you want to get, you know, get going on doing podcasting or vidcast or, or whatever? What is your true um, you know, your true passion of, of doing it because it's not a get rich quick scheme. Let me tell you, <laughs> you know? everybody thinks, oh, I can go out, get on YouTube. I can be a star. I can be an influencer. You know, I can do all of this stuff, but it's very, very difficult, you know? Yeah. No, I agree. And, and one of the, and I'm just sharing the show to my Instagram real mm-hmm. quick. Um, yeah. So one of the things that I've noted is that, um, you know, a lot of folks come up to me and they say, you know, I think I want to start a podcast. And, I, and, and, and look, this came about not, not because we want to, not just because we want to teach people how to podcast. I don't believe that everyone should have a podcast, right? But mm-hmm. if you have something to say, then say it, right? And, and I think the first thing that you want to think about is, do you, do you have a podcast or do you have an idea, right? Do you have a sh- like one show or one concept that is just an idea? And I think it's important to take note that not everybody needs a podcast, right? But if you do have something to say, then then say it, right? So, I mean, obviously, there was a need and a niche for what you're talking about. And how many shows do you have now at this point? Well, gosh, that's a good question. I have, well, I have all of uh, these wonderful hosts now that have joined me yeah. on the platform, which is the Going Solo and Go- Going Solo Media platform. And then now we're branching out, you know, eventually we're going to be uh, filling up the Going Going Bold platform too. So yep. um, we're looking to, you know, really expand it. But I don't know. I've got like, I don't know, 25, 30 shows because I also do... Um, not I do the I do the live video, but then I also do. We have a comment here. Let's say what she's say it with your chest. Say it with your. I think he, I think he means not everybody should have a podcast. Is what I was saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Right. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Yeah. So so anyhow, um, what was I saying? I was saying I got so sidetracked. You're filling, you're filling up your shows. You have, you have oh, your yeah, podcast, your podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think you have to kind of decide on, you know, what it is that you that you want to do and what kind of uh, message you want to give. A lot of people start a lot of people are now running towards the Internet. Right. Which we weren't they weren't before we were we've been on the Internet for a long, long time now. And um, so, oh, I was saying that they um, we do the videos. Right. So we do the live videos. We drop them down into uh, the podcast format and then we play them on various different outlets and so we've got a numerous amount of listeners so at not any one um one platform and so because they get distributed throughout which is yeah. something i've been doing for years and now everybody before i, I was being poo-pooed for doing that like they said oh you shouldn't do that you should Why? have them focus on your website and i'm thinking like well, get, you got to get real. I mean, you can't. Yeah. Well, that's why you got ABC, CBS, you know, all the Fox channels. You got all these other channels because people like to watch different things, right? For yeah. different different reasons. And so they're on all these various different platforms. And so I go where the where they are. And so we've got like right now we've we hit the mark in a month's time. We've been on like a month and a half on uh, Roku. Yep. And so that's I call that Internet streaming. Right. Yep. And so we we're, we've hit over 2000 for the month, 200,000 listeners. That's I mean, crazy. that's huge. Yeah. That's and the reason being, I know, and I hate to say this because now everybody's going to jump on it, but the reason being is because there's not a lot of talk shows out there like ours that are right. on, on there. There's movies and things like that. So we're, yeah. we're hitting something kind of different. So that's another thing is don't, you know, step out of the box a little bit, try to be a little bit different. Don't, you know, if you're going to start something like this, don't just follow the norm like everybody does, you know, be, right. be willing to do something a little bit different and don't let, um, don't let what you don't have prevent you from doing it. Like tonight yeah. we're doing a show without lighting. Okay. Right. We I are in the dark in videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, I don't have my mic. I don't have my lighting. I have nothing. I'm doing, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm interviewing uh, Sophia Rose next week. Uh, mm-hmm. She's, 
been somebody that I followed for a long time in the plus size space. And we've become, we've become friendly. We worked on a couple projects and I'm interviewing her for, for Fabby plus. And I'm like, I had to be honest with her. I'm like, Sophia, I'm, I'm, I'm living out of boxes right now. There's no air conditioning in my, in my house. I haven't set up my studio. Like, what do you want to do? You know? And she's like, look, you can come to my place. You can figure it out. Whatever equipment you have, it's fine. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll work with it. And, uh, and I, I contacted a buddy of mine, Rick Bober, and he's got a studio in town. So I might use his studio just because, you know, I, want, I, I like to sometimes make it a little bit more professional looking. But the reality is, is you can, you can just put out a nice backdrop and be fine. Obviously, don't do what we're doing right now. This is like, don't, <laughs> um, you know, do, do as we say, not as we do. Um, but, you know, th there's, I think, I think there's more to be said. And we'll, we'll go into a couple of things about, there's more to be said about the content and not, and not the, 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 the format, you know, well, the format's important too, but I mean the, the, you know, the lighting and stuff like that. I've got a buddy, uh, Danny, uh, I hope he's watching. He's going to be on my bar. He's going to be on my, that professor life show. And that's the other network that I have, uh, mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks, but you know, Danny's, I mean, he doesn't have the right equipment yet, but he's, he's doing it out of his backyard and he's doing a show about wrestling and okay. it's like old school wrestling. And I freaking love watching it. Cause he's just got some cool stuff to say. If you have the right stuff to say, you can kind of podcast from anywhere. If you say, but on the other end, if you could have the best podcast studio in the world, and if you're a fool, and if you're a Joe Rogan or uh, you know somebody talking about you know the evolution of uh, of men needing to be poly because you know they need to spread their seed or whatever, then you just gonna sound like an idiot, you know? Yeah, it's it's. I guess it's just really what you you know what you want to try to get across. I mean, we've got so many people now going. You know, they want the exposure for their for their businesses, right? Yeah. And yeah. so they're starting a they're starting a podcast like that. So it's kind of running it a little bit into the ground. But I will say, and and this is just my opinion, I think podcasting is is yesterday. You know, yeah. it's yesterday media. I mean, I'm not not trying to discourage anyone for doing it. What's fun about podcasting is that people don't see you. So it's a little bit it's it's a little bit more of a comfort zone for a lot of the people. Yeah. And so, you know, getting into a video is is really hard. I mean, when it's I first started there. yeah, when I first started doing the videos, um, it was difficult, you know, at first. Then I went in, I actually went on television real television did television for a little bit we had a community tv station here and i did that and that about blew me away because those right. cameras really get right up in your face and yeah i mean you can see every freckle you have and you know <laughs> it really blew me away but so it's just you know and i'm just a normal person i'm not any anybody you know i don't feel any any different than anyone else went through a very difficult time in my life and trying to help others, you know, get through that themselves. So that's, yeah. that's what my, my gig is. That's what my thing is. But podcasting is a little bit of yesterday. And so if you want to be stepping up and really doing something that's more in the now, more in what people are doing, it's the vidcast like we're doing here yeah. on the live that's that's really the way think, to go. You know, I think there's a space for podcasting. So, for example, I listen to a lot oh, of sure. podcasts when I'm driving, when I'm working. Um, you mm -hmm. know, I don't I don't have the, the space to watch, but but you're right. I think I think the live streaming that kind of stuff is really important. Happy Wednesday to Tessa, by the way, who's who's on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, should I start a podcast, right? So, you know, do I do I want to start a podcast or a podcast, or should I go live on Instagram instead? Um, you know, you know that kind of stuff. Um, I, I think there's a lot more, in my opinion, uh, CC. When when we talk about, and I I'm going to apologize to TikTok too. I don't have the right lighting or anything like that today. Uh, when we talk about this this creating of this I, this this brand, right? You know, especially being on air. Uh, again, we are not pra we're not practicing as we preach today. We're 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 not in our in our good space. But um, what I was going to say is, you know, a lot more goes into it than just having an idea and talking about it, right? There's oh, I mean, yeah. how many times, CC, you know, how many times did we go over the name of our, our uh, network because we were going to want to merge our networks, right? How many mm -hmm. times did we go over uh, the logo that we came up with? How many times did we go over the topics? I know I have a specific format. You have a specific format. And how, how many weeks do you think it was? Oh, a lot. I mean, you have to really put a lot of, of thought into it. And again, it circles back to what 
what you're trying to achieve from it. Right. right. And so, you know, so your branding is important. You have to look at it uh, as a business standpoint. And so those kind of things, those elements are very, very, very important. But what some people don't realize the hours it takes, the preparation it takes to do um, a podcast, for instance, you know, to do a podcast, you have to create the artwork for it. Well, well you have to create your logo, right? You have right. to create your name. You have to, you know, secure whatever format you're going to be putting it on, whatever platform you're going to be putting it on. How many minutes do you want to have it? How do you think you're going to make money off of it? I mean, are you going to do sponsorships? Are you going to do advertisements? Right. Or, you know, what are, what are you going to do? Or do you not care because you're using it as a driver for your business? So, and that's what I would recommend. If you're using it for as a driver for your business, it's a great it's a great way to be able to showcase yourself because it edifies you as you're going yeah. through as an expert, that type of thing. Yeah, but it takes a lot of hours. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, go ahead. Tell me about. Yeah. I mean, it's a preparation. So, I mean, after you get the, you get your initial setup for the podcast, then you've got to come up with all your shows, right? All the titles for your shows, all the guests for your shows. You've got to come up with, um, you know, the, all, all the information you're going to be talking about. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of work and it's also a huge amount of commitment because your listeners, as you start doing it, you, are you going to be live? Are you going to tape in advance? You know, cause your listeners are going to be wanting to see you. They're going to be wanting that we're wanting to hear you, right? If you're doing a podcast, they're going to be wanting to hear you. So they want to hear you at the, maybe at the same time because you want to drive people to, to be able to listen to you. So at the same, at the same platform, each, uh, each, are you doing a weekly, bi-weekly, you know? Right, right. Yeah. We do ours bi-weekly. Now, Grown Girl says, you, you have a new fan, Cece. Uh, mm -hmm. Cece loves when, when people agree with her. Um, agree, <laughs> with, agree with her, you need to plan out the content, number of episodes, platforms, et cetera. Who is that that you're speaking to? So I'm so sorry. If this is your first time watching my live on TikTok, I'm speaking to my partner, Cece, who owns Going Solo uh, uh, Radio, and uh, we together own Going Bold, the Going Bold Network. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm talking to, um, and we are chatting about uh, starting your own podcast. Uh, thank you, Pretty Red. I am in Vegas, but I'm originally from New York. Welcome from Dallas. And Grown Girl says, hi, CC. Um, Hello. Thank you. Thank you I, for commenting. Yeah. And I, I agree with you a thousand percent. And I think, you know, uh, it's really, you know, the, the prep, I always try to prep for every show. You'll notice that I have a format for almost every show. This is the, the first time in a while that I've had a guest on the barbershop. So I, I kind of skipped most of my format. But, uh, you know, you'll note that I always talk about, you know, who the show is sponsored by. Do I do talk about my, um, you know, what's going on in my life? Let me talk about movies that have to do with the topic. Let me get into the topic. Grown Girl works for iHeartMedia. So that's cool. We should probably talk to her <laughs> yeah <laughs> come and talk to us travels. come and talk to us <laughs> yeah, come um the movie that actually i thought of have you ever seen the movie for today's episode have you ever seen the movie with honors i probably have but i don't remember it but you it's know. brendan frazier and, and patrick dempsey and he's got a, a college radio show and he's just he's just a goofball it's brendan mm -hmm. frazier like nobody has seen before he's like a He's, he's in college at the time. He's like really awkward looking compared to like when he grows up. Um, and uh, he has a, a college radio show. It's just funny. He just like talks about whatever he wants to talk about. Um, but well, I agree you know, that they always say, you know, Christopher, they always say they have a face for, for radio. For radio. Right? Yeah. That's what, <laughs> I don't know if you know this. I was on radio for about five years. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Not just college radio. I was on real radio. Um, oh. and, and that was the joke is, is I had a face for radio from, from all the people. <laughs> Uh, I was on I was on uh, the radio, and then believe it or not, I was actually in the running. Uh, I sent in uh, my video for "Want to Be a VJ" uh, at MTV, and I got into a couple of rounds. Got through a couple of rounds, and uh, I got invited to do a couple of things, uh, a couple of like live things there, and it didn't pan out. But you know, uh, maybe I did have a face for radio. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Well, you know, it's just uh, I think you get hooked, right? You get hooked on it. I mean, I don't do, I, well, I shouldn't say I don't do, I do, I do do a lot of preparation. However, nothing that I, that I do in my shows are ever scripted. 
Like I don't right. do any prepared questions for people. Like no. especially if I have guests and things, they always say, send me a list of questions. I don't, I don't do yeah. any of that because yeah. I want it to be real, right? I want it to be like, you're sitting in my living room, talking to me, sharing with me, you know, about you. And that's what I want it to be. I don't yeah. want it to be script because if you're going to do it script, why listen to it? Right. Yeah. Who, who, well, who wants to hear that? So I do a little, so first of all, I want to mention, so grown girl here, I was on air too for a few years and then transitioned to sales where the dollars are. We should talk to her about selling for our network because we always need yeah. people to sell ads. Um, yeah. I want to message you. Um, maybe, you know, it's a side gig, but um, you know, I, so I'll, this is, I'll differ with you a, a little bit on this. I don't, I don't script anything. Sorry. This pen was bothering me. It's got a flower on it. It's in my face. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't script. And, and there we go. I didn't script that. Right. I don't script anything. Mm -hmm. However, I do try to sell, uh, try to send my, my guest at least a, a list of topics that we're going to discuss so that they kind of know where we're at. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because for example, um, I had on, on that professor life last week, I had, um, a gentleman by the name of Steve. He's a gay man who owns Bursting Through, which is a, a very new emerging like uh, LGBTQ allyship uh, magazine. And I wanted to make sure that that you know what topics we were going to discuss because we we disagreed on a couple topics. I wanted to make sure it was okay to disagree on the air with him. You know, and he was like, "Yeah, cool. Make you know, let, let's do it." But I wanted to make sure that was okay. You know, yeah, like, that's that, kind of cool. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, you mentioned, uh, you know, that you had domestic violence in your history. Now, let's say you would disclose that to me privately. I would probably want to check with you to make sure that you were okay talking about that on the air, right? Right, right. Yeah. Oh, here we've got a comment here. So For just here, I was doing live interviews on Instagram, interviewing media influencers, but felt like I needed more promotion. I miss it. Well, Jesse you should talk to us because one of the reasons that we are, are doing the, the show is first of all, I don't know. I don't know about you, CC. Sometimes I feel like we have a lot more to offer than just dating advice. Right. Um, number one, but, Oh, Hey Karen. See, I've, I've got, I've got one of my fans and my friends and you know, they may, they may not always agree with you, CC. Karen, you can't agree with CC. No, you can, you, that is, you have to always. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, she'll mute you, Karen. She'll mute you. No. But, uh, but Karen, Karen's a good friend, so I'm glad that you're joining, yeah. you're joining Not, us. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, it's but, great. You know, I, I think, you know, one of the reasons that we wanted to do this show was, I think, like I said, we, we can offer more than dating advice on a Wednesday. And number, and number two is, you know, we do want to build Going Bold Wednesdays for the right people, right? So we've tried some folks who have come onto our network, and, and you know, I think they had a lot of passion, but they didn't have the, the consistency. It's a lot of work to every other Wednesday put together a show and not, like you can see, I could have easily said to Cece, hey, dude, um, do you see where I'm at right now? I, my air conditioner is not working. I have a window unit in, in the window. Like, I'm not in, a, in the right place to do this, but I wanted to keep my listeners consistent. And so it, it's important, I think, that, that we do that right yeah oh yeah i agree well it's the same thing with me i'm i'm in my you know grandkids' playroom <laughs> in right. the basement so yeah i totally i totally get that but you know it's also a passion you know it becomes a passion with us i think and uh we want to be able to help others and and you know so it's, it's something that we do on a consistent type of basis and i i love what i do so i don't have a to me it's not work at all right. and um and, you know and it's about as preparation i think for me i just uh you know i do like bullet points of what i want to cover so i don't miss something yeah um, so generally i generally do something like that but i try not to do have it too scripted but for me, the important thing is when I'm interviewing someone, I want to know about their journey and, and their why as they do something, yeah. because that really makes a huge difference when you're looking at a product and a service, you know, yeah. I really want to know why they, why they do that. And, and as you said, I'd like to also touch on um, that we're growing the network. And so we have slots available for, other um, shows. And so I, we do both podcasting and we do the video. And so there's the shows that I also um, have given that are pre-recorded. They're already done and that they're given to me for us to play on our network because we are on pretty much all, all, you know, podcasting type of platforms. And, and so, uh, you know, we've, 
I, I should count up now how many, but I'm like adding almost every week. I'm adding another platform and I've now hired an assistant to help me. Whoa, look at you. I know I guess hard for me to do that because I'm, I guess I'm a control freak. I didn't realize I was a control freak, right? <laughs> but I hate to give it over to somebody because it's my baby, you know? I'm the complete opposite. I could actually uh, mm. let everybody do everything and just give me, send me a report at the end of the day. That's all I want. Just send, send oh, me. really? No, not me. Yeah, I'm I just like, yeah, it's a, it's like a baby for me. So I, uh, I want my hands in there on everything. But yeah. yeah. But I'm also creative, so I think that's a little bit, right. a little bit of right. it. And that's the other thing. Every show has to have a new title. Every show has to have a new artwork, a couple different sizes for the artwork, depending on which platforms it gets played on. And so there's a, and then you've got a lot of posting. And then not to mention the edits. I mean, some some shows get edited, you know, some now, don't. Now, what? I, so I want to get into equipment for a second because I, I just, I did some research on Amazon and on Google on video podcast from I, mean, I, I think it's very silly but um what are your what are you using to edit the, the, the podcasts i well the podcasts i just use and this is i know it's silly there's so many different things out there but on just a podcast which is totally the aud audio which is an mb3 i just use audacity i don't use okay. anything i don't do that see, that's a lot of people go through all this fluffy stuff i don't do anything fluffy i have a ring light which of course i don't have now i have a, a little ring light on my desk yep. i have a big a big a huge one that i can take with me yeah. um and then i have a green screen i've got a great big huge green screen um that i it's portable i can take that with me which i don't and then i have a small one you can attach to your chair which i don't use right. and so i have the green screen and then i have a uh, a little camera that i attach um which I think it cost me 20 bucks yeah. and then i have a mic um I've, I've bought a few mics over the time um but this last mic i bought you know i don't think i spent any more than maybe 50 bucks for i don't i don't yeah. spend a lot of money on my stuff well, so i want to um, show you can i do you mind if i share my screen yeah go ahead okay so i want to show you when you when you when you do some searches on uh on video podcast equipment right it mm -hmm. ranges, right? They've got this this camera with a mic for two hundred seventy dollars. You know, all these kits for two thousand. Uh, li this lighting is the most outdated I've ever seen. Two hundred bucks, is, you know, takes up so much room, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, this actually isn't too bad. USB podcast microphone with headphone set. Not. Oh, terrible. am I supposed to be bringing this up? Oh, can you not see it? Oh, here. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Anyway, I realize this is the very expensive uh, equip the the mic, the equip the the equipment uh, kit that's super expensive. But like this isn't too bad. Look, uh, USB podcast microphone with headphone set, zero latency monitoring, not terrible, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think you need to spend more than that to be honest. Get a good pair of headphones, good mic, um, a nice a, a nice ring light, which I have. And, and that's really all you need. I used to have, I don't know if you remember, Cece, but I used to have these huge lights that used to, um, yeah. used to take up all the space. And it was so silly. And, it was, you know, yeah. it was a gift mm -hmm. from an ex. And, and so I, I wanted, you know, she knew lighting and, and sound. So I wanted to make sure that I um, I, I used it. But it really wasn't, it, it wasn't, there's no value there. Yeah, you know? I have I have a lot of different um, a lot of different things. Like I've got several different microphones. I also have a um, a soundboard. You know, when I first started, when I first started, I had a soundboard. I had a big soundboard, and then I went down to a smaller soundboard, and then I've got several mics for those. And I just found, you know what? A lot of these platforms that you can use, it's got stuff already built in. So you don't yeah. really need it, you know? The sound quality is pretty good. But you've got to remember that if the content that you're sharing with someone is good, if it's what they're truly interested in, they're going to listen to you, right? Yeah. And so you don't have to go and do a lot of, have a lot of flash and a lot of stuff. And I notice a lot of people, they get the microphone. Now I have it, you know, I've got like a, a nice microphone. You can, they bring it up higher, bring it down. And then, yeah. they, you know, the, the, I don't know what they call it, the spit screen or whatever. They put that screen on, you know, the, the, yeah. 
So you don't have that. And I have that too. And I took it off because it gets in the way all the time. And yeah. so, yeah, so you, you can have, you can, you can spend as much as you want or as little as you want. You know, you just get the, just get the basics on it. But yeah, um, yeah the important yeah. thing is doing it. Yeah, no, I agree. Now let's talk mm -hmm. about software. So I Googled um, yeah. a little bit earlier today, I Googled the, the best pod, uh, podcast hosting sites. And what did I come up with? But Buzzsprout seems to come up a lot. Um, mm -hmm. it, but then also Podbean comes up. And I know that we use Podbean. I, I've been using Podbean. What do you mm -hmm. use to like get everything out there? Well, I have several, you know, like I said, we do a lot. Like we use the Podbean, yes, Speaker, SoundCloud. Um, I have, uh, what a, there's an, um, a few other, other ones that I have them on. Um, and then I post post them on, you know, a lot of other different places. So you can use, you know, you can use all of them. The the ones I was looking at was um, Lisby. Is, is it Lisby? Lisbon? Lisbon, I think it's called. Lisbon. Yeah. Right. And so, then Speakers, SoundCloud, Buzzsprout, Podbean, Anchor is another one. We're on Anchor. We're on all of them. Yeah. Um, Spotify. Is it Spotify? You're, you know, there's so many different. Now, different how do you push, how do you push the podcast out to everything? Well, I mean, some of them you put on some of different, it depends on which platform you use. And so when you do the platform, then you can look and they have a dis distribution. So my suggestion is, is, you know, what, what is it that you're really trying to achieve? Right. And so then you want that platform to to you know accomplish that for you so you want to look and see where it distributes and when you broadcast are you doing it live are you going to do um something like zoom you know going to record it in advance you know that kind of thing and then and then upload it onto one of these platforms and then use their distribution so then you can look and see who they just just, you know, who they, who they push it out through. And that's, what's important is then look at who they're pushing it out to. Do you want um, your information to go on that? You know, right. like I Heart and some of the other ones. So I would make a list of the ones that are the big ones, right? Like Spotify and I Heart and all of those yeah. kind of things. And then those are the ones you want to make sure that they're on your distribution list. And then, then a lot of them I do manually myself. So that's another thing. It's really? like, there's a lot of them that I do manually and put them up. Um, so not only do I use the platforms, but then I go in and I put them up manually on, on, on everything. So Excellent. when you look for um, the barbershop on Spotify, it comes right up. Mm -hmm. So it just, um, Oh, well, it used to. Uh, hold on. Let me, try, let me, let me sign it. The barber, it should. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it, come, it literally comes right up, and it's got my first episode right there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, there are a ton of other barbershops out there, and I maintain that we were the first. And now, mm -hmm. freaking LeBron James and his crew have something called The Shop, where they're talking about a barbershop, and it really ticks mm -hmm. me off because I feel like they, they stole our idea, you know? Okay, well, that's another thing that you should do is you should look into, depending on how serious you want to be on it, yeah. you know, into your your um, your trade rights, you know, into your yeah. your your branding. So you want to look into that and make sure like your logo and all of that is all registered and things like that. So people can't go in and take your name or use your things because they will, which is really crappy. It's like taking a, you know, domain name, it's a .com and they turn around and use a .net or use a whatever, just because they want to try to, you know, try to steal your, <laughs> right, steal right. your people, which is really silly, but yeah. And now I see well, on Spotify, uh, real quick, the Boy and Girl Show comes up like immediately. Yeah. Well, again, that's going to be according to, you know, your listeners too. Um, the, you know, when you, when you put in things, you know, does it come up, um, you know, because, because the more listeners you have, like some of these platforms, right, you put your information on and you've got to have so many listeners for them to even start pushing your stuff. 
Wow. So, so that takes a little while. So like when a new host comes to me and they want to come on our platform and they say to me, well, you know, I make them make at least at least a three month commitment because it's not even a couple months before I can get everything on the distribution because I have to wait till we get, you know, we get enough listeners for it, things to start being pushed right. through. Yeah. Let me see, did you know? So I, now I'm like hooked on, I'm looking at all of, all of our ratings. Did you know that a bunch of my show, I'm not trying to be like, yeah. here, but like a bunch of my shows that I've hosted are in the top of the going solo uh, list when you go on Spotify. They're like the top couple of two or three are, are the ones that I've hosted. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, your shows are doing very well. I mean, very well. I mean, I get asked a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, here. Karen's saying. As a viewer, we don't know all that equipment you use. We'd like to see you and hear what you have to say and what is important. Thank you, Karen, for that. That that means a lot because it makes us know that we're you know whatever what we're doing is is right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're on the right exactly. way. You, Karen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think I think the point of today, you know, to to close things out is is um, you know if you have a good idea and you have good content. The rest of it really falls into place. I mean, microphones, all that kind of stuff, everything kind of, ha- you know, it's 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 right on your computer. You know, um, mm-hmm. I think I think the, the main thing that you need to worry about is format, consistency, passion. You know, are you saying something unique? One, one thing that I'll say this and I'll, I'll probably catch it, but, you know, one thing that that the reason that I, I continue to print my magazines in, in the plus size space it's because I found that influencers were coming onto the plus size space and really saying the same stuff. I'm I'm plus size and I'm an advocate and I'm gonna wear mm-hmm. this and you can't stop me. And I was like, okay, that's great. It's totally great, but it's been said before, right? What can we say that's different? And I think when you're starting your podcast or starting your vodcast or whatever you're doing, you should come up with something that's that's unique and 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 a, a different perspective. What do you think, CC? Yeah, I totally I totally agree with that. And then one thing I would add is join a network like ours. Why start on your own? You know what I mean? So why go and get like, you know, uh, as an like Podbean, you know, we're already on Podbean, right? So why not go with a network that's already on Roku and Amazon TV and all of these, you know, we're, we're on the, you know, uh, YouTube and all, all of those, but we're already on iHeart. We're already on, you know, all of the, pod chaser and all the all i mean tons of other stations why not join something that's already established yeah and then that way you get on and a trick i do which i don't really like to share with a lot of people but what i do and i've done this over the years is is i share these shows on different genres right because for instance, you have, um, let's say you have a business show in, and the business show also talks a little bit about, they might talk about dating, you know? And so then I would share it on the business and I would share it on the, on the dating. And right. so I share it in all these, all these other places because guess what? Maybe who's turning into listening for the business may not be listening for the dating or who is listening for the dating may not be listening to the business. So you've captured them, right? right. So you've captured that audience. So that's what I've done over the years. And I've, and I've been able to establish a good, a, you know, a really good base. And so that's why I think we've got so many uh, different listeners is is capture that so that is a trick so if you're out there but what i would suggest is if you're serious about getting listeners and you're starting something new join us you know join our join be a part of our team you're going to be consistent and have that passion throughout Mm -hmm. right you can't right right and then we also teach them you know we what listen to the shows we teach them how to how to do different things that they're doing you know to try to make it better for them so there's, you know, there's also, we also do that offer, yeah. offer, offer that. Yeah, exactly. Too. Exactly. Well, yeah. I think that about wraps it up for WGSN DB going solo radio. And this is uh, your host of going well Wednesday end of the barbershop. I am Dr. Christopher salute. I want to thank you so much. My guest CC Shatt, who owns going solo uh, media and the going solo network. And uh, today we were just talking about, do you have, do you have a podcast or do you just have an idea? And I see uh, Danny Hendogs just saying what up real quick. 
uh, in the comment section. Danny, I, go back because I was talking about how I love watching your show, even though you don't have the right setup yet. You know, you have some great content. So Danny's going to come on one of my shows soon. So we're excited to have him. And uh, I think I think, you know, the answer is to, to this question is, should I start a podcast? And the answer is, do you have something to say? If you have something to say consistently every week or once a month, then you, then you have a podcast or a podcast. If you don't, then you just have an idea, and that's okay, too. Maybe go on Instagram Live and talk about it. But uh, thank you, Cece, so much for coming on today. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be on. And I think you're pretty awesome, Christopher. As you know, we've been we've worked together now for for years. And I think the reason we're so good together, you know, both in the boy and girl thing and all the other thing is that we we do very much like each other and respect each other. And so it's an honor to be here. So thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. It's an honor to be with you. And, and you know, one thing about CC and I, we don't always agree, right? Uh, no, we, we don't. Do, we and of course, we do know, we do know, ladies out there, thank you for your support, that I am always right. Right, right. <laughs> I'm glad. As, as long as we agree that CC is always right, then, then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good. Well, that was that was our time today. We don't want to take we don't want to go too long. We want to make sure this is digestible. I'm your host, Dr. Christopher Salute, CC Chats, who's the doyen of relationships and the owner of Going Solo Media on my show. It's an honor to have you on my show, seeing as though I started my show by being on your show. <laughs> uh, and uh, just want to thank you so much for having me on. And uh, that is uh, the barbershop. Thanks so much for for hanging out. <laughs>